Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, RBA uh, day. Aussies, I would say, kind of surprised. People were looking for a dovish hike, uh, and they did nothing. Um, they think that mm, inflation has peaked. Uh, Aussie traded um, down to 68. And then weirdly back up to 90. Uh, you look at the five minute here. But we're short now. Um, high was 88. I think you can just be short Aussie here. Um, it's a tradable short, right? This isn't going to be a straight line, mainly because there's some business we have to do in some of the other G7 pairs today on the right hand side which is going to push and pull Aussie around but it's a tradable short um, looks like Aussies are done I imagine Aussie Kiwis a lot lower but I haven't even looked a little bit early here um, anyway Aussies on the sidelines uh, as they say Focus now today, uh, as we're running this uh, Aussie short, is going to be the sterling pairs, right? We're just staring um, down the barrel of this uh, 124.50 level. High yesterday was 26. We didn't quite bullish in golf. What did we close? We closed at 10. Yes, the, the high on Friday is 23. Um, we're at 13 now. Uh, I think we're just going to go old school here and buy some through 26, buy th some through 50 in, um, in a momentum style. So highly risk managed. But core long today looks like looks like they're gonna attack these this level. I mean, we've been talking about this level since January, right? Um, we walked into 2023 down at 118, bang, right up to um, 124.44, which is years high, 124.47.8, and I specifically remember. I don't know, maybe the next day saying <clears throat> what's going to happen first, the neckline down here at 118.44 or the double top or the, you know, we're going to break through this high. And of course, <clears throat> cognitive bias, what it is since we were at the top of the range anyway for the next few days, I was like, oh, this has to trade, this has to trade. Um, never traded. So here we are again, dicking around here, 12.13. Um, watching this one of the reasons it's a even more compelling today is if you look at the euro sterling chart or the sterling swiss chart euro sterling we have these three lows here let's call it 87.71 looks like they're in play uh, i imagine sterling swiss is going to be the same sterling swiss 113.63 sterling swiss is not as compelling um, just because it's sterling swiss and it's just sort of at the mercy of um, cable and dollar swiss it doesn't really trade it doesn't really trade on its own i would say it rarely does it's really a it's really a focal point right um you know all of you listening from the uk who ski over here in switzerland i know you deeply care about it um but uh, sorry to break it to you. No one gives a fuck about sterling Swiss. Um, it's Euro sterling and cable uh, that drives this bus. And I think on the, on the bronze medal goes to sterling yen, um, which isn't doing much here. We had a bearish day and then indecision. And sterling yen could do just about anything here. Anyway, so the focus is on cable. Um, let's see what happens through 26, and let's see what happens through 50. Um, should be interesting. Let's talk about Swiss Yen. I've been trading this on the short side. A lot of trades in Swiss Yen yesterday, so it turned out to be a good day. Um, stubborn. 
not really doing, not really, no real big waterfall moves or anything because dollar yen's back 70 bid. Um, Euro Swiss is holding up after the light CPI yesterday. We still like short Swiss yen. We're running some core here, a uh, little bit lighter. Um, got some, you know, we were selling 50s, buying 20s. Sold 59s, bought 39s. I think we did that three times. Then we bought some down at 81 uh, just after the fix. Resold those at 10. So our average is pretty tidy um, for this week in the Swiss yen. Just have to be patient now and see if dollar yen is going to uh, tip, right? And why might dollar yen tip? God knows. But U.S. rates... Um, are lower, right? It's a big red day yesterday in rates. And now we're 341.9. Um, looks like cable might go higher today, which should also put pressure on the downside. Dollar yen. You could probably sell dollar yen. 132.80 figure today. Um, 341 is pretty fucking low. Um, and other central banks are are on pause, so I don't know. Dollar yen's been stubborn. Um, yesterday, though, it was bearish engulfing. Look at that. I mean. It's going to be congestion between 15 and 85, but you really want this thing through 132.15 now, which was yesterday's low. Um, let's see, this is the four hourly. Maybe we dilly dally around here to the right, make some sort of uh, funky shoulder, uh, and then head lower. Anyway, um, Swiss yen. Gold looks bid, rates lower. Uh, obviously, 120.09.70 is the year's high. That's a focal point. You could draw this little pennant here if you like your technical analysis. This um, this will be watched, touches a few times. Um, if rates continue lower. Uh, Gold's going to continue higher, and then all we're waiting for is like one more piece of, of bad news, uh, and it's on for all of this stuff. Dollars are, we said we missed it, we lamented our miss um, on Friday. We'll be fishing for low ones if we can, and dollars are. This is. This is just because we think we're heading into risk off. We talked about selling Apple yesterday, which is a bit of an odd call for us. We had 166.66 offers out there, 166.29 the high, so we didn't quite get done. Um, but just looking at this, I don't think we're going to break this high here, 169. We're at two and a half sigma. We think this uh, equity rally is foolish. There's a lot of uh, sneaky negativeness out there. It's not really a word, negativeness. Um, so, weirdly, usually there's some there's some other canary in the coal mine, and, and Apple's not really the canary in the coal mine. Apple is the U.S. stock market. It's such a huge portion of of the indexes, um, and it's just arriving at two and a half sigma before before S and P's right. So today, this is um, forty one eighty six, another thirty handles. So it's a percent, um, also fading fading uh, S and P's. Certainly don't think we're gonna we're gonna break forty two forty two hundred. All that said, um, the main focus is on sterling today. This is a huge level. 
a big bullish day yesterday. Felt like the feels like the market wants this. A couple of, of MPC speakers, Tenerio and uh, Pill, but they're not going to say much. We got jolts today at 4 p.m. You know, it's Easter week. There's also less liquidity out there. Uh, something to keep in mind. These are the kind of weeks that these levels tend to go. But um, let's be patient, right? There's no need to um, no need to load up until we see the price action that is appropriate. But watch um, Euro Sterling 87.71 and Cable 124.50. Big, big levels for the rest of the week on high alert. That's all I got for you today. Good luck out there. Talk to you tomorrow.